Okay, this is Gamer Blave, and we're back with Tank in Fallout Tactics here. And uh, if you watched the last couple of videos, you saw that um, we encountered super mutants for the first time, and it didn't go so well for our uber hand-to-hand uh, -hand build. And, um, you know, for the first time I had to actually rely on my squad as opposed to my... Um, you know, uh, my damage resistance did not hold up at this point to rockets. So I think until until I get um, you know until I get some power armor, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to <clears throat> you know pull the squad in when I see guys with with rocket launchers and things like that. But that being said, um, you know, you know, also the guy that I had gotten to replace my traps expert, so the second traps expert that I had gone through, um, died. Uh, it was Harold, and he looked like he was going to be a good one too. He was a a, a ghoul. Uh, so in order to replace him, I got um, I actually couldn't find another real traps expert. I found Boomer has traps tagged, but does not have a particularly high skill. So. Um, She's not really going to be disarming a lot of traps anytime soon. Um, and then I also uh, got this guy, Ed, who's going to, you know, obviously a great repair skill. Um, and um, a good lockpick skill. Which um, means that uh, I can't replace Farsight yet because I definitely need those outdoorsman skills because I don't want to have to deal with all those uh, encounters. I want to be able to skip them. Uh, but I can actually start putting Farsight's skill points into small guns, so she'll actually be able to shoot some stuff uh, for once, finally, in the game. Um, so, until I can actually find uh, someone with outdoors and, and another skill, uh, we'll, we'll uh, need to stick with Farsight. But uh, other than that, let's go and get our mission. And uh, you know I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to on the next mission you know use use tank as I intend to or as I have um, on all of our previous missions. But hopefully we'll get some better armor for him soon. Okay, we've got Jefferson and Kansas City. I'm just gonna go you know down the list. Here. We have suffered another setback, brother. Most of our intelligence operatives were killed in the surprise ambush last night. I can scarcely believe it myself, but we now have to accept the possibility that the super mutants are familiar with our covert methods. What is left of our intelligence ops has discovered the location of one of the super mutant staging areas. The mutants have a semi-permanent military base in the rubble-strewn city of Jefferson. Additional reports describe multiple generators are supplying power directly to one large structure. Our scribes believe that this structure is a weapons manufacturing plant. Oh, goodness. You have two objectives to complete here, warrior. The first is to render all of these power generators permanently inoperative. Without power, their factory is useless. Your second objective is to force the mutants into a route. If we can get them running, they'll lead us to either their main base or to General Barnaby. Gather your squad and leave immediately. Dismissed. Ah, oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. So, let me go through my other guys here really quick. I want to see... Okay, I don't have any other power cells. Just checking. Oh, looks like Ed's our... Ed's our new driver here. So, yeah, it was a real bummer losing Harold in that last mission. Um, if, if you had, uh, If you'd watched that one, you saw I had, uh, tried to rescue this guy who they had rigged. Uh, they'd rigged explosives to him, and I was running towards him, and I hadn't even gotten to the, hadn't even gotten to try to disarm it yet. I was just, you know, next to him, and, um, you know, it blew up before I even got to him. So, tough break. You know, that's just how it goes sometimes. But, uh, he had a lot of good skills. I think he had, I think he had, like, four tag skills, and, uh, you know, there were some, there were some really practical ones. He had, um, I think he had throwing, um, repair, and, um, and, of course, traps. He had a, he had a good trap skill. Like, a, I think around 160 or something like that. It was... Definitely, definitely, um, you know, enough to, um, enough to at least theoretically be useful. Of course, you know, if you've watched this whole series, you know, that, uh, 
We have suffered another setback. You know that you can never really be completely scouter. Cool. Okay. So we've we definitely we've definitely got some super mutants going on here. So let's let's get um let's get our old cocktail o drugs going here. I don't think he got addicted to either of them. So we're rocking the old 115% damage resistance and Okay. So let's um let's see if we can do some damage and uh, hopefully not get not get too slaughtered. Man, this guy's this guy's taking it. This guy's taking it like a champ. Okay, that leads me to believe kind of um I toyed with the idea uh earlier a couple missions ago of uh you know kind of kind of having Stein kind of follow behind and once Okay, that guy. That guy went down a bunch quicker. Anyway, kind of having Stein, you know, um, fire some bullets into the fray. Oh, yeah, some more buff out. Excellent. Excellent. Been using, been using that up, and, um, if you remember, I'd actually kind of ran dry, uh, ran completely dry of it. And, um, In the previous video, I had actually found found a, a little stash of uh, six more, but uh, now I've now I've got myself another another little bit. Let's uh, give this guy a punch to the old the old eyeballs. Yeah, we'll give him another one. There we go. There we go. That. That's how we do it. That is how we do it. Whoa. Excellent. Okay, what all's this guy got on him? Got a bunch of grenades. You know, it's just got to be careful. You know, I'm gonna walk up on some guy. He's gonna have a rocket, and if I if I see a guy with a rocket launcher, I gotta gotta kind of run the other direction and uh, you know let um, let someone else take care of it really quick. Okay, let's let's deal with this guy. Oh, 95% chance and missed. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and actually do a turn-based uh, fight against this guy. I haven't really done very many of those at all. Um, they just, uh, typically speaking, um, aren't the way to go. But this guy's not. <laughs> this guy's not doing anything, which is odd. Very, very odd here. Give another shot to the eyes. There we go. Okay, well. Okay, we, so we got some flamethrower fuel and a flamethrower. So, uh, kind of glad that he didn't. Not exactly sure what my resistances would have done against that. But, uh, you know. 
Turned out okay. Turned out okay. I didn't see anyone up in um, this, up behind this um, sandbag. But I'm going to just go take a quick peek. Just for the sake of thoroughness. Okay, looks like we're good. Alright. Let's see. Okay, so Boomer, Boomer actually doesn't have any... Um, armor, I don't think. Oh, never mind, she does. She's got leather armor. Leather armor is perfectly acceptable. I think uh, only two people can fit in the scouter. Bring the old scouter up here. Probably gonna need to... Oh, shoot! There's a guy with a rocket launcher up there! Whoa! scared myself. was not paying a great deal of attention to what I was doing. So, just out of curiosity. Okay, yeah, she can't see. So, how in the heck am I going to get up there? And furthermore, how am I going to get up there without dying? Because, you know, I really want to not, not die. That would be would be absolutely ideal. But not entirely certain. Not entirely certain I can pull this off. Okay, well, I'm going to try to run over there. try to run over there against my better judgment. Whoa. Tank actually found a trap. So, um... <laughs> now, how to get in there now is a question. So we've got this area down here. Um, I suppose I can try to disarm with Boomer. She's only got 70% though, so... I would say it's pretty unlikely that she's going to be able to. Um, but I guess what I'm going to do is just hope... Hope against hope... That uh, I'm not about to lose another traps expert... In the line of duty. But hey, you know what happens. To me, it happens a lot. Whoa, there's some more traps right there. Not gonna touch those with her. Not gonna do it. Okay, let's do this, Boomer. Hey, how about that? How about that? That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Lord only knows how Tank found that. He's got, like, he's got uh, two perception, you know? Finding traps is not his forte. I bet that chest is trapped, too. Just kind of seems like, seems like what would be going on. Oh, man, look at this area. Look at this area. Kind of want to bring, um, kind of want to bring Stein down this way. And I'm going to go ahead and put him on aggressive. Because um, what I want him to do is be kind of behind uh, Tank. And, um, you know, just shooting into the fray. Because I need to be able to, I need to kill these guys fast. That's what I need to do. So, that's what I need to do. He's on aggressive. Take him off of that, and let's, let's run in here.
There we go. See, that's... That's where it's at right there. You know, you just kind of get in there and... Get both of them on them. Match made in heaven. Oh, I got a little graphic glitch going on there. Okay. In retrospect, uh, I kind of wish I had grabbed out of my APC um, rocket launcher and some rockets with Stein. That that would have um, potentially been a um, good thing to do. Might have been able to get up on the... Um, that guy upstairs with the rocket launcher and, and just kind of, you know, end it. End that um, conflict, you know, like before it really, before it really begins. I think that would be just about ideal. Because apart from tank, Stein is just about my most valuable just about, whoops, my most valuable guy here. So, basically, here's my plan. It looks like he's the only one up here. So, what I'm going to do, and this is probably the dumbest plan in the world, I'm going to put him on that. And I'm just going to run him. I'm going to I'm going to tell him to run right here. And I'm going to tell Stein to run right about here. And I'm going to do that at the same time and and just hope for the best. Uh it's probably not going to work very well. Probably not going to work very well. Actually, I'm going to tell Stein to run first cuz he's behind him. Whoa! Tank's hurting. Tank is hurting. Tank is hurting a bunch. Let's go ahead and get some uh, a little bit of healing going on here. Not sure what that other guy's got going on, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use all of my use all of my uh whoa okay so <coughs> that I mean that, that could have been that could have been one heck of a lot worse could have been one heck of a lot worse okay so you know well oh, that probably uh probably oh a laser pistol Probably should have um, healed before I um, before I opened that uh, or before I accessed that um, shelf because if it was trapped at uh, my current level of health, it could have been death. Uh, but I'm gonna go back downstairs and have uh, Stitch patch me up. Well, you know, all all in all, that didn't that didn't go too horribly bad. Certainly could have been better, but. Uh, I like how the, the super mutants are are willing to <laughs> willing to discharge <coughs> excuse me discharge their rockets in uh, you know in you know, point blank point blank situations. It is most humorous. Uh, it, it, it's most humorous when when I don't wind up completely splattered all over the place. At least, it is most unhumorous when I wind up splattered all over the place. As I do not like having to load my game. Okay, how do I get down this thing? 
know there's stairs here. Okay. All right, Stitch. Patch me up, buddy. Okay. Let's see what's in this here. What's in this here area? And I'm just going to assume that this chest is trapped. Whoa! It's not that the chest is trapped, it's that the uh, thing right in front of the area right in front of the chest is trapped. Well, she failed, but she didn't critically fail. And she's doing pretty good, you know, all things considered. She failed to disarm the explosives trap. Wow, she's doing really good. She's doing really good. Oh, so we got uh, 250 cal rounds. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. So, definitely, uh, definitely some... Good stuff happening here. Good stuff. And I'm sure this door is trapped too, but uh, no point in pushing my luck right now. No point in pushing it. Let us just get out of this place most gingerly. And I'm gonna get into the get into the scouter here with tank and kind of unload my uh, unload my loot so far. bunch of junk here. 32 grenades. It's a pretty good haul. So I found this house key on the uh, last mission and there was there were like no buildings or anything like that uh, with the houses so you know I'm kind of hoping that uh, there's something something to open up this one. Okay, I want to kind of get these guys out of here one at a time to avoid to avoid stepping on stepping on one of these mines. All right. got going on here. So we got some guys down there. Looks like, looks like that's the way to go. So we got a dog generator, so we got to blow that up. Um, well, it looks fairly, fairly safe. Bring in Stein, potentially bring in Farsight, you know, keep her back. I don't want to bring her in too close. Don't want to bring her in too close. Oh, we got a bunch of guys here. Bunch of dudes. Okay, I'm gonna bring. Oh, I got stunned. Now I'm not exactly sure what that actually translates to. Oh, I think. Wow, Stein wrecked that guy. Absolutely destroyed that guy. Um, I guess whatever the grenade he was throwing at me just had some kind of. Um, effect on it such that 
such that it caused Okay. Now I saw there was a group of guys over this general direction. Where did they go? Ah, oh, here they are. Here they are. There we go. Yeah, the old Stein tank <laughs> is a, a pretty lethal one-two punch. Now, um, if you guys think I'm, um, if you guys think I'm going a little bit too far off of the old kind of philosophy behind this build, then let me know and I'll, I'll just go back to going in and beating them up. Um, I think, I think what I'm doing right now is more of an acceleration than, a than, a <clears throat> going completely against, um, completely against what this build uh, stands for, if you will. Uh, because, okay, here we go. Um... Power generator one destroyed. Oh, didn't see that. Um, because I mean, as you can clearly see, I mean, it's not like I took, um, you know, hardly any damage. Can you hit? Uh, man. let's just let's just reload and do our thing here. Hardly any damage in all of that, so it's not like... Stein's kind of just, I think, he's just kind of helping helping me along here. I mean, certainly he's doing more damage than, than Tank. Um, but... Um, but... Tank is being the, doing the bulk of the effectiveness, because, um, Stein wouldn't be able to just walk up to these guys and, uh, and, um, have this effect. No, sir. It does not work that way. Unfortunate. But no. Whoa! We do have another rocket launcher guy in play. We do indeed. And he is. He's being liberal with his, um. Whoa! He's being liberal with his application of rockets. Run! <sighs> oh, goodness. Yeah, something tells me if Farsight took a rocket, it wouldn't have gone so well. I believe this guy is... I believe this gentleman is out of rockets. Believe so. Stein's just going crazy. Love that guy. Now, with that being said, I think um, I think that uh, a lot of the uh, the appeal of the quote-unquote Uber hand-to-hand uh, -hand build is 
the humor of it. It's 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 a funny build. You would have more uh, of an effect if you went with a you know, virtually the same. So if you took the same thing and instead of unarmed went melee weapons, I would probably be doing. Well, I mean, I guess I wouldn't really be able to be using the Ripper right now because I wouldn't have enough small energy cells. There just aren't enough in the game yet to be using that as my main weapon. But um, uh, here in a couple of levels, when the um, when I have access to, say, the Power Sledge, um, that's going to be a lot more effective than any of the um, punching weapons that I'm going to be able to find. Um, so that would be a more effective build. Now, um, another, another more effective, um, you know, a more effective build than this would be if you took, so if you took virtually the same thing that I'm doing here, uh, you know, you want to max out your agility, you'd probably have to lower your luck because you'd want more skills here. Um, would be a big guns version of this. So you'd want a high perception and uh, you'd want to lower your strength probably down to about six. So you'd, you'd have to um, you'd have to uh, use buff out in order to you know carry the big guns. But you know that's not a problem. I, you, you know this guy pops buff out every mission anyway. So that's not a, that's not going to be an issue. Um, you know, and, um, you know, so lower your strength to a six. Uh, you'd want your endurance to be ten, you know, because you're going to be, you know, you'd, you'd, and you're going to want your perks to, uh, you, you're definitely going to want your toughness perks. You know, so your build's going to be almost identical to this, but you're going to have uh, big guns, and if you want your guy to be really, you know, awesome at the beginning, you're going to pick up small guns. Um, but, you know, you can definitely rely on the rest of your party until you get big guns if you want to. Um, that would that would definitely be uh, viable. And and that would that would be more. Uh, I mean, you're going to have a much more effective character. Like uh, this is this is by no means. I'm not saying that this is the most effective build out there. I think it's a funny build. And I think it is an effective build, um, but um, but yes, uh, I I digress now. I just wanted to make sure that that was clear. So let's let's go ahead and let's go ahead and. Um, cut the video here. It's gone on for about half an hour, and that's where I usually like to end the videos. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll pick up here next time.